Hey there, how's it going? It's your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward here. And in this video clip, we're going to talk about diet soda and whether or not you should be drinking it. Now, I know this is a controversial topic and you're going to hear different views and opinions based on who you talk to. And some people believe that diet soda is a harmless beverage to consume because it's sugar-free and it's calorie-free and thus you can basically drink as much of it as you want. And I used to be of this opinion myself for several years. I, I drank diet soda as a regular uh, part of my diet. I mean, there was always a bottle of it in the refrigerator, and I never really thought anything of it until I started to do a bit more research about it. And I actually, over the last couple of years now, I've totally eliminated all soda, diet and regular, from my diet, and I feel a lot better from it. And I just want to cover a few little things about soda that you may or may not realize. One thing that's been shown in several studies is that diet soda can actually contribute to weight gain. Now I know some people are going to be thinking, what the heck are you talking about? I mean, how can something that is sugar-free, calorie-free, how can that have any impact on weight gain? And the soda itself doesn't contribute it but how it triggers the metabolic processes within your body is what can trigger weight gain. And the reason is, when you consume a sweet food or beverage, your body doesn't know the difference from real sugar and artificial sugar. I mean, nowhere in nature is there any artificial sugar. So your body is just programmed through evolution. When it can taste sweetness, it starts the whole metabolic process down the line secretes insulin just the same as if you were going to consume sugar. So your body tastes, you, you put the sweetness in your mouth, your body senses, okay, we're getting sugar, and it just starts the processes that you're going to consume a large influx of sugar. The only problem is your body doesn't get the sugar. However, everything's been put into motion. You know, the insulin's been secreted. Everything's been put into motion, but you didn't provide the sugar. So this messes up your body's internal feedback loop and it actually increases your sugar cravings, increases your appetite, so chances are you will overeat later on to make up for this influx of sugar that your body was expecting but didn't get due to the artificial sweeteners. Now, I know some people hearing this are going to say, well, it's still up to the individual to count their calories and control their food intake and everything else regardless if they consume diet soda or not. And I totally agree with you. It's absolutely up to the individual. And if you do purposely control your calories, you can still uh, get ripped, get in shape, burn body fat, all that kind of stuff. You can still do that while consuming artificial sweeteners. I mean, I've done that for years. When I was competing in bodybuilding, I mean, I've started competing in bodybuilding back in 95 and I mean all through those early years I was drinking diet soda and still getting in contest shape. It's only over the last uh, few years that I would eliminate diet soda from my contest prep and I actually noticed it made a huge difference because I wasn't as hungry, I wasn't uh, craving sweets as much and I found that because I cut out artificial sweeteners it actually makes the dieting process easier. Now, it's kind of, you know, what do you value more? I mean, is, is the bit of pleasure you get from consuming artificial sweeteners worth having to suffer through and feeling hungry and craving sweets more? Because it's, it's weird how the body works. When you eat a lot of uh, sweet foods, whether they're artificial or real, you tend to crave more sweet foods. When you eat less sweet foods, you crave them less. So the more you eat them, the more you want them. The less you eat them, the less you want them. So even though it may take a bit of willpower to overcome that initial uh, cravings that you may have, in the long run, it's a heck of a lot easier to just avoid the artificial sweeteners and to avoid you know, sweet foods in general, with the exception of, of I mean, an occasional treat or something like that. But as a staple and a regular part of your diet, I, I personally don't believe it, and I haven't done it in years and I feel a lot better and healthier because of it. I mean, my beverage of choice right now is just pure water, and I find that is a lot healthier, and I feel better because of it. 
Now I'm interested in hearing your feedback, so if you drink diet soda, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know whether you drink it or not and why you choose to do so. And I bet this is going to stir up some interesting discussions because, again, it is a controversial topic, but I am interested in hearing your feedback. So please, feel free to post your comments below, and I'll chat to you down there. In the meantime, have yourself a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Over and out.